So, what has motivated you for civil services? Everything, and I thought that it is something that attracts me, and I can uh, contribute more meaningfully. So, what were the lessons you learned from the first time, as the prelims are also approaching? Ma'am, I have always tried to learn from my mistakes. So, when I observed, why I failed my first attempt. So good evening everyone today we have a Swati Sharma with us who has secured all india rank 15 congratulations swati and welcome and thank you ma'am swati uh, let me tell you about swati she is from jabalpur madhya pradesh and this is her third attempt am i correct swati yes, and uh, by profession she is an engineer and uh, her optional is sociology so swati how are you feeling now Third attempt and such a good rank, ma'am. I am feeling very happy and very relaxing, and I think finally at peace. Uh, no more hustle, no more tension, and that anxiety uh, that I have been facing for the past four years. कि क्या होगा, कैसे होगा, clear होगा ऐसे ही. So finally, that feeling is not there. Uh, that is so relaxing. Okay. So क्या होगा, कैसे होगा? So now everything is settled now. अब जो हो रहा है अच्छा हुआ और आगे भी अच्छा होगा यस स्वाति सो लाइक यू आर एन इंजीनियर फ्रॉम दिस ड्रीम ऑफ बिकमिंग अ सिविल सर्वेंट बिकॉज आई थिंक आफ्टर योर इंजीनियरिंग यू स्टार्टेड द प्रिपरेशन या आई वाज आस्किंग लाइक यू लाइक आफ्टर योर इंजीनियरिंग आई थिंक यू स्टार्टेड फॉर सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन प्रिपरेशन सो व्हाट हैज मोटिवेटेड यू for civil services was it before engineering or when you came to the engineering college so how your like dream like how this dream came to you and then now you have fulfilled your dream so actually it was during my engineering from second year uh, i thought that uh, engineering is not the career that i want to pursue but uh, that is not something that motivates me and that will also not provide me self satisfaction so at that time i decided that i will switch uh, to some other career and then uh, i while exploring careers i got to know upsc and the preparation and it's uh, everything and i thought that it is something that attracts me and i can uh, contribute more meaningfully when i become a civil servant and i can bring a positive change in the society can influence a lot of lives out there so that was that motivating factor Uh, to pursue civil services for me, but I wanted to dedicate whole heartedly. So that's why I started my preparation after graduation. So immediately after graduation, you started your preparation. Or when you are completely graduation, ke baad to bahut josh hota hai ki nahi ab to civil services matlab humne kari lena. First attempt nahi hua, second attempt nahi hua, third attempt rank fifteen. But what kept you going? to these two three years because first attempt i think uh, prelims was the hurdle in the first attempt yeah second attempt uh, mains was the hurdle i suppose or prelims was the hurdle so no ma'am in mean, second attempt i cleared prelims i cleared mains i have given an interview but in the final merit list uh, my name was not there so that was the issue in the second attempt so what kept you motivated throughout this uh, tell us something about your journey from when you started preparation till today uh i'm the motivating factor to do something to work for the society to make my parents proud uh, that was a motivating factor and those were the reasons that i started preparation so whenever i felt like okay it's not happening and i will not be able to do that these reasons were there with me that no you have to do it but just remember why you started yes. and then everything seems easy then you will be motivated and you will work better you will be focused so i think the reasons why you started the journey is more important yes so this is what even i keep on telling to the uh, students that see coming and preparing is one thing but first thing you should ask yourself why do you want to come here actually ma'am Yeah, and that should be very clear to us. I think when why is clear how because it become very easy. Yeah. So I think it should be clear why why I am doing this why I am I am in it why I have been doing for the past one two years. So yeah. that's why why is very important. Yeah. Why is yeah where when you have a clear cut why then how and when is secondary. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, so why did not you go for engineering subjects and you have opted for sociology? My first thing was that I am a computer science engineer and the engineer in computer science was not there in the office. So first reason is that also. And so I am also shifting from a technical field to humanities was a tough thing for me. So I was searching for an option uh, that I am interested in as well as it will be easy for me to learn it, to understand it. And when I uh, go across the syllabus of sociology, I found that uh, it is quite relating. And as a civil servant also, to work in the society. So it's better to understand it. And also the material that is available for sociology is very limited. Sociology can be covered in three or three and a half months with dedicated preparation. So that why, that's why I chose sociology. Then, uh, like, first time prelims was a hurdle. Second time appeared the prelims. So what were the lessons you learned from the first time as the prelims are also approaching? So is, was there any trick or anything that you have done uh, that has helped you clear the prelims two times, second attempt, third attempt? Ma'am, I have always tried to learn from my mistakes. So when I observed why I failed my first attempt, I observed that I haven't done enough practice. I was not able to practice enough more. I have read everything, uh, current affairs, uh, CGS, everything, but uh, I didn't know how to apply it. And till the time you don't know how to apply, there's no point of learning everything. You have to know the application part. So I think my for prelims exam practice is very, very important. So in my second attempt, I have practiced more than 90 plus mocks so that I have enough practice. I can deal with questions in the examination hall under pressure also because there's a lot of pressure when you are in that hall. So I think that practice uh, made me uh, clear of prelims in my second attempt as well as my third attempt also. So that is practice. Practice makes a man perfect. So that is what is very true. Yes. And like uh, sources, because it is said that prelims is very dicey. And many times uh, some people are just uh, not able to clear it because of the vastness of the like uh, current affairs and all. So what were your source? Do you, were you having the limited sources? Because nowadays we have so much of information with us and candidates are running after the information. So what do you have to say from your experience? Uh, Ma'am, I have also always tried. I have seen the topic because I never had any guidance in my family. There was no one who have pursued it or even thought of civil service in UPSC. So I also got inspiration from topics that I have seen over the years. So I also try to have limited resources. Uh, I thought that things that I cannot provide, I should not read them because it's a waste of time and energy as well. Yes. So I thought that I should read only those things that I can revise in future uh, in, before my exam. So I believe that you should always keep your resources limited and revise it multiple times so that it uh, retains with you uh, till the exam day and further also. Okay. And what about your mains? Because you being from an engineering technical background, then when you are writing mains, you have GS 1, 2, 3, 4, except for only some sections. Everything is non-technical, yeah? Wow. So how did you prepare for your GS, for your mains, and then how do you prepare for your essay and ethics and all those things, if you could share with us? And there's a vast difference between answer writing in the engineering domain and in the civil services, you have to maintain the content as well as the presentation part also. Till yeah. the last question, you can't choose between that, okay, I have to present the answer well, but content is poor. You have to balance that. You have to give both to UPSC. So I try to rely on the facts, figures, flowcharts. I prefer flowcharts and flowcharts and point formats in place of paragraphs. Because when I used to write in paragraphs and then afterwards I read my answer, I got bored. And I thought if I am getting bored by my answer, definitely the examiner will also get bored. So I try to make it as interesting as possible and maintain a flow in the answer. So that the examination, uh, examiner who is taking the copy develops an interest in reading my answer so that uh, my marks will be also increased. So that was always my strategy. Uh, in editorials, uh, in newspapers, there are always some lines that we can quote. So I used to write those lines also so that I can quote in my answer. So these were some points that I tried to add. So you have attempted quotes even in your GS answers, yeah? Yes, ma'am, I have attempted quotes. 
any particular subject where you have uh, like used course like in uh, social issues or wherever uh, you said you were you have used quotes quotes in your answers okay. yeah ma'am those quotes were really helpful for uh, in essay to definitely they are useful yeah, yeah. ethics paper quotes uh, are very very useful and i have seen that improvement because in uh, morning mark sheets were released last year i got 108 In ethics, uh, in GS four, and this year I got one thirty two. I I think so. It's a big that, jump. It's a big jump. So that was because of those posts, because of those real life examples, real real life civil servants that that those are working in society right now. I try to quote them the good work they are doing. That is inspiration for us, the young aspirants and the young civil servants. So that I try to include in my answers sometimes. So that I think add on to my mark. great and what about test series like when did you start writing answers and you were part of our test series also swati so like when did you start test uh, test writing uh so, ma'am after i was not able to clear my first attempt uh, in prelims i was not able to succeed after that i started my main test series for one year preparation uh, and after that in second attempt i I have cleared the prelims, and then I joined a three months test series. In that order, I have joined the test series before the exam mostly. So test series, like once you have completed your syllabus, when you were confident, then only you started the test series. Yeah, it yes. was it was like sectional test, uh, or it was like full test you wrote. No, ma'am. Uh, in initially, I have given sectional test also to check where I am standing. And to give it a start, and not jumping to the full test series in one go, and going by syllabus by syllabus to which section, and then I have moved to full length series. Great. And then after your mains, the last phase is also very interesting. UPSC that is personality test. So how was your interview? Could you just share about it? Like who was the care person, and what kind of questions were being asked? Uh, ma'am Smita Nagraj, ma'am was the chairperson of my uh, interview last year. Also, she was the chairperson, and this year also. Uh, so the board was very cordial. They made me comfortable. I was the last in that order. Mm -hmm. So I was really nervous. I had to wait a lot. Uh, so they were very cordial. They have calmed me down. And there was very normal conversation. There was no fact-based questioning. They tried to know my opinion, especially on women's safety. as a woman what i think about the condition of women in the country the growing cases of violence against women the safety issues that women in the country face their financial independence patriarchy so that, those were some questions that were part of my interview and your hobby is like uh, physical fitness and dancing and all were there questions from your hobby section also uh, no ma'am there were no, no question from my hobby part it was only opinion based question random So how many marks uh, have you got in your interview this time and last time? Because it was board was the same, chair person was the same. So uh, actually, I didn't uh, score good in my interview this time. Also last year I got one fifty one, and this year I got one sixty two. So I don't consider it a good score. <laughs> But so, overall, if it ends well, it is well. Yeah. So overall, you have got through. But yes, board was scorier. Okay. So overall, like uh, you have gone through first, second, and third three exams. You have three times you have gone through it, and now finally you have reached your destination. But there are so many who are dreaming for uh, appearing in this exam, and can you motivate them? Can you say a few words to them, like because because there is an inertia. in the mind of common people that this is one of the toughest examinations on the earth and generally i have seen that that the, if you are not a very good uh, like scorer in your schools or colleges you feel that i am not the right person to to appear for this exam but if you ask me swati i think this is an exam anyone can clear so there is a that inertia yeah so because you have cleared this exam you are from a, a small town uh, uh, like madhya pradesh se ho aap and you have cleared this exam with such a good rank so few words of motivation to the people who dream of coming to the civil services ma'am i think you have said right it doesn't matter what was your score in school in college upsc just requires hard work 
So if you are willing to do that, if you are willing to give uh, your uh, two three years of your life dedicatedly to UPSC, I think you will succeed. Work hard, be consistent, avoid the trappings that are there, uh, eliminate the outside noises. Just trust yourself. Uh, be motivated. Always keep your reason why you started your preparation with you, and work consistently. Perseverance, patience. These are very important things in UPSC. There are times that even I felt self-doubted. It is quite normal. Don't think about it. But just chill out with your friends. Talk to your family. Keep yourself at peace. Don't be hard on yourself. I have seen a lot of students. Those are very hard on themselves. They're like no social life uh, away from social media. It's I think they like burden themselves a lot. That one day that bubble burst and everything shatters. So I think don't burden yourself. Uh, burden your yourself. Enjoy this journey. When you enjoy this journey, this journey becomes easy, and you will be succeed uh, in the near future. Yeah. See, uh, preparation is one thing. Okay, you have content, you have books, but you have rightly said that you need to be uh, social also. And uh, social means uh, like you should be surrounded by people who are having positive energies. Yeah. When you are low, they can support you. Your friends, your family. that is very much required yes so swati overall it's a very beautiful journey for you and how has been next ias part of this journey for you thank you so much ma'am i really want to thank also next ias team uh, i have given mock interview last year also and this year also main stage series was provided for the ex students who have uh, who have not cleared last year but the series was provided by next ias team and this year also everybody was so supported uh, supportive of the telegram channel that next ias team has provided everything uh, they have done everything to keep us motivated and keep us going and they were always there to answer the queries of students every little thing so i really want to thank next ias team and their huge contribution uh, in our success to the team yeah that telegram group many students appreciate it we have this telegram and we started this during the pandemic time because that was like two years uh, pandemic when interviews were there and we were not having the physical contact and we got a very positive response so we are continuing with this telegram group and we try to answer each and every question till the last day till 18th like we have answered questions so uh because we 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 all feel that we all are we all are a family so yes i is always always there to support each and every candidate in whichever manner we can possible manner we can so all the best to you swati thank you ma'am we hope to see you as a successful bureaucrat thank, thank you so much. much and once again congratulations from next ias congratulations to you thank you thank you swati thank you, thank you.